Hey everyone, it's Paige and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, since you guys are always asking me how far I hit every single club in my bag, that's what I'm gonna do today. So I'm gonna go through every club in my bag, show you all of the distances, but I want to be clear that these are my carry distances. So when I say carry distance, what am I talking about? So it's the, <laughs> kind of self-explanatory, it's how far you carry it, not where it rolls out to. So your carry distance are really important for you to know because the ball reacts differently on different greens. And so when you go to a golf course where the greens are firm and fast and hard, you know that you need to carry it shorter because it's gonna roll out a lot more. And so you don't wanna get the yardage that it rolls out to because it's gonna be different everywhere you go. So that is why you need to get your carry yardages. And it's gonna be different across the board. When you see my yardages, it's not going to be clean like 140, 150, 160, 170. It's very different and it varies because that's how far I carry it. You'd <laughs> be very realistic about it. So how do you do this? Well, you can either go to a simulator location like an X Golf where you carry, you hit multiple balls. You can see exactly where you're carrying it. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Again, it's the carry yardage, not the total yardage. Or you can go to a driving range that is a nice flat driving range. So I'm at Talking Stick today and their driving range is one of the best in the valley because it is so flat you can see exactly where your ball is landing so it'd be really easy here maybe except for a driver or three wood or your longer irons to see exactly where it's going so you can get really great wedge practice here up to probably about 160 you could really see your surrounding of balls and you want to hit as many as possible until you get kind of like your average and you know exactly what your carry distance is and so if you're hitting one you must hit it and you hit one shorter and you must hit a really or you hit a really good one and goes farther you're going to take those out and you're going to look at your small ring of balls and that's what your carry yardage is going to be so that's i've done this before multiple times anytime i get new clubs i redo it i really redo this like every six months to a year depending on how much i'm practicing or what i'm working on because again it's going to change depending on your swing if you're working out <laughs> if you have new clubs all of these variables are going to change how far you're hitting it so you're going to have to do this pretty consistently to always know what your carry distances are i usually have them in on a sheet of paper i have all my distances down or i can just remember them when i was playing full time i had my I literally a laminated sheet of paper where my i had my carry distance how far i would hit a draw how far i would hit a fade my knockdown i had yardages for absolutely everything that's how precise you need to be when you play at that level but now it's more just for fun and i can remember what my carry distance is so that's probably more what you guys need to do so if you don't remember write it down and that's the best way to go about it so these are my stock i'm hitting them probably 90 percent not full and um, I'm not trying to do anything special. This is just my normal swing. And so if your normal swing produces a fade, that's great. Then just keep hitting that shot over and over again to get that your stock go-to shot with all of your clubs. And that's how you find your carry distance.
this guy. He just ran from the first hole into the range and I just heard him yell, I found it, as he walked by. That's why I stopped. So I love going to like public golf courses with like a lot of people because you hear the best stuff in passing or like as people are playing. It makes me so happy. But back to what I'm doing. Okay, so I am done and I finished my entire bag. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how far I carry it here in Arizona. I know it's probably gonna be different. And that's also a good thing to mention too. Uh, there's places where the ball goes farther, like in here in Colorado, or it goes shorter when you're at sea level or East Coast where the air's a little bit thicker. So again, getting a carry yardage where you live will also help you when you're calculating your yardages in different places. So again, Finding that carry yardage is very, very important. And I know guys, you always want to hit it farther and you say, oh, I hit it this far. You can lie about your carry yardage to other people, but know what you, in your heart, what you actually carry it. Cause that's really going to help you during your rounds. Because if you're like, oh, I carry my eight iron 170 and you really carry it 155 and you know you only carry 155, <laughs> it's going to mess you up, especially when you have a caddy. So you can lie to other people, but tr be true to yourself. Know how far you carry it. Don't lie about it. Don't try to hit as hard as you possibly can to get your carry yard just to be uh, longer you hit it what you hit it so always remember that take the ego out of it it's going to help your game if you do that and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a comment down below i want to know were you surprised with how far i carry it was it longer shorter and subscribe to my channel i'm putting out videos every thursday or leave a comment down below on new video ideas not just how much you hate my outfit for the day <laughs> that seems to be a common comment so I, again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next thursday